I want to take my time today uh, just to give some great knowledge to you and understanding of nutritional medicine and preventive medicine. It's really critical for you to understand the principles that have put together the Nutrify brand that RX has today. It is very scientifically based, it's medically based, and I'm just thrilled to be able to have a chance to share this with you. And so today, I'm going to talk to you about true preventative medicine. And I want you to understand oxidative stress. And I want you to understand how you and your family can best prevent these chronic degenerative diseases and understand the concept of providing cellular nutrition each and every day uh, that we are here on this earth. So that's the whole process. And I would like to go ahead and just start by just talking more about traditional medicine. Uh, what we find is that most physicians, as you well know, we spend most of our time uh, treating critical advanced end stages of disease. We, we spend very, very little time in, in regards to preventing anything. And most people don't understand that or don't appreciate it. Uh, they wait till they become sick, run to the doctor and say, oh, doctor, save me. And we want to change that and uh, reach out to those people and you who desire to become more proactive in protecting their health, but want to understand what is the best way you can do that. So let's look at traditional medicine. When I graduated from the University of Colorado Medical School, uh, I was truly disease and drug oriented. Uh, I knew my diseases. I knew my drugs. I knew how to diagnose disease, how to treat it. Uh, who to refer to for surgery or any uh, more advanced treatment. But as a family physician, what I didn't really appreciate, even what I was calling in my medical practice as preventative medicine, was really just early detection of disease. So think about this. When I had a patient come into my office and they're in for just an annual physical or a wellness physical, what am I as a physician trying to do? Well, I'm trying to find early undetected disease. So I'll do a history of physical lab work uh, and try to determine, do they have any silent heart disease or do they have any uh, early cancer? I might do a pap smear, mammogram, PSA in men. Uh, we may do colonoscopies, anything. But what we're doing is looking for those early signs of disease. And that's what I'm doing. I, I might look for that silent high blood pressure, uh, elevated blood sugar, elevated cholesterol. And so if I don't find any disease, then what I do is I go ahead and put my arm on their shoulder and say, you're healthy and out the door you went because that's the way doctors treat their patients. Uh, we are looking for disease and we feel the earlier we detect, detect disease, the quicker we can get you on medication uh, and hopefully slow down this process. But what I'm gonna to talk to you about today is true preventive medicine, and that's equipping our body to fight off disease. This is totally different than what I taught in my medical practice for the first 25 years. And in the last 20 years, I basically focused on true preventive medicine. So, Here's, a, here's something I want you to really think about and understand. Chronic disease or diseases, they're silent. How do you know or how do you feel when your arteries are hardening? How do you feel when you're beginning to develop cancer? How do you feel when you're developing, uh, you know, diabetes? Uh, the thing is, is you don't. You don't feel anything. You feel healthy. You feel good. You don't feel any problems. So, Individuals actually feel healthy and totally unaware that anything is happening until they actually lose their health. But you see, chronic degenerative diseases are the result of very small changes that occur over a prolonged period of time. Now, the reason that's important is the fact that it allows you and I, your family members, your loved ones, your friends, an opportunity to intervene and actually change that course of that disease if we start to understand what I'm going to be telling you. This is, this is something that 
uh, we need to really appreciate. And as along with that, you have to understand that we as physicians, we diagnose disease in their very last stages. Now think about this. The first sign of heart disease over a third of the time is sudden death. They don't feel anything. And all of a sudden they have a heart attack and they can't make it to the hospital over a third of the time. So you don't feel, you know, you don't feel anything, you don't there and boom, it's over. And so you don't have time to intervene or try to develop healthy lifestyles or do anything like that. So what you need to understand is that this is what we do as physicians, as far as cancer is concerned. We, just, we diagnose cancer in their very last stages. Uh, you think about Steve Jobs or uh, Patrick Swayze or, or people that have pancreatic cancer or, you know, uh, you, you get um, uh, people like Ted Kennedy that had brain tumors or that. Well, these people are very wealthy people. They can they could spend all the money they want to uh, on health care to try to regain their health. The problem is it's too late because, you see, we we as physicians don't feel or see any symptoms until it's too late. Uh, generally, it, it's that way with almost everything we do. Alzheimer's dementia. When I diagnose a patient with Alzheimer's dementia in my office, 80% of those brain cells have already been destroyed. And that's why medications we prescribe or recommend we prescribe really don't help. If you have Parkinson's disease, 80% of the brain cells are already destroyed at the time we diagnose it. That, that's, that's the problem that we have. So this is what you have to understand is that we, when we finally diagnose disease, it's too late. Therefore, we need to learn what healthy lifestyles, what we need to do to intervene uh, with healthy lifestyles to change the course of these diseases. You see, my patients today, they're not as interested as they used to be in the number of years in their life as they are the quality of life in those years. You know, what good does it do to live to a ripe old age of 93 like President Ronald Reagan did, but he wasn't able to recognize his wife, his spouse, his family for the last 10 years before he died because he was suffering from Alzheimer's dementia. They actually become trapped in, in their own body. This is, this is the, the thing that people say, well, I want to have quality of life. And that's what, what I am out trying to teach people to understand what gives us the best opportunity to protect our health or possibly regain it if we've lost it. Well, to do this, you have to understand a process called oxidative stress. You see, oxygen is necessary for life itself, but it's also inherently dangerous for our existence. So as you utilize oxygen within the cell of the body, within the furnace, which is called the mitochondria, Yes, you produce energy in life itself, but occasionally you produce what we call a charged oxygen molecule, a free radical, which actually has an electrical charge. And if that is not readily neutralized by an antioxidant, it can go on to damage the cell wall, vessel wall, proteins, fats, and even the DNA of the nucleus. Uh, this is called oxidative stress. And this is what we call basically rusting inside. You and I are rusting inside. So the same process that turns a cut apple brown or rust metal is rusting you and I inside. And that's what we start to understand. But here's what most people don't realize, that the number of free radicals you and I produce each and every day is not steady. In other words, there are things that increase the number of free radicals you and I produce. Sunlight, pollutants in our air, food, and water, radiation, cigarette smoke, uh, medications, and excessive stress, radiation, all of these increase the number of free radicals you and I produce. So what we, the medical literature is showing us today is the fact that the number of free radicals you and I are producing today is the greatest number that has ever been produced in the history of the world. So we are under attack. We actually have a war going on within every cell in your body that is rusting us from the inside out. 
And so we want to learn, well, how do we win this war with them? What do we need to do? And this is where my research took me because this is what I was treating in my medical practice were chronic degenerative diseases. And what we find is that you are not defenseless against this process. Antioxidants have the ability to render those free radicals harmless, to give them that free or that electron that they need to, to neutralize them. So you have a natural antioxidant defense system that can protect your body, just like a fresh coat of paint can protect your car. But here is a key principle you have to understand. Balance is the key. You need to have more antioxidants available than free radicals you produce, no matter what your environment's like. We have to live in this world. So this is what can prevent oxidative stress. So how do you get these antioxidants? For the first 20 years of my medical practice, I told my patients, all you need to do is eat a healthy diet. You, you know, if you eat a healthy diet, you don't need to take supplements. All they do, supplements create expensive urine. They don't do anything. Just eat a healthy diet. So this is what I have been taught. Uh, yes, you can get antioxidants from your fruits and vegetables, uh, but and, and that's the primary source. But the thing is, is when I studied the amount that we need, and I'll share that a little more in detail as we go through this, is the fact that when you take nutritional supplements, uh, you can take them at levels you can't obtain from your food. And you can equip your body uh, with tools to actually win this war within. And this is what I want to share with you today. So I had to look at the medical literature and I, I looked at the medical evidence and it, and it demanded a verdict. Should my patients be taking nutritional supplements? Uh, that was really different than I had been taught in medical school. I had never learned that. Uh, Woodson shared my wife's story, uh, but I was anti-supplements before my wife became sick. She uh, suffered from chronic fatigue fibromyalgia, came down with a serious pneumonia. And, uh, uh, you know, that was a, a time where she had seen four different medical specialists because she ended up in this serious fatigue syndrome where she couldn't get out of bed more than an hour or two each day. And this went on month after month, in spite of seeing four different medical specialists who put her on nine prescription medications, and she wasn't getting any better. It was about that time she, a friend, brought over some nutritional supplements and told my wife this helped her husband uh, get through uh, a pneumonia and an illness. Should she try it? So my wife actually asked me because she knew my attitude towards supplements, which was not very good. And uh, I says, honey, you can try anything because what we're doing is not helping. And I think that's something uh, that people don't understand, that as a physician, uh, the, the most difficult time is is when you're not even able to help your spouse. And so she started taking nutritional supplements and within days she was better, within weeks, she was off all nine prescription medications and within months she was better than she'd been in years. So this was very important to me. Uh, and I had to go and research the medical literature. I dived into it. I spent hours researching what are the health benefits people can receive by taking nutritional supplements? Because it was not something I'd learned in medical school. See, when I got my MD degree, I thought I was that healthcare expert I always wanted to be. But after I've researched the medical literature in true preventive medicine, I underline, uh, understand now I was really just a disease care expert. I knew my diseases, my drugs, how to treat, but I knew nothing about preventing disease. So this is something that I've learned, and now I really believe I've become that true healthcare expert I've always wanted to be. And here's the key principles that I learned, is that our bodies are the best defense against developing chronic degenerative diseases, those diseases you and I would love to avoid, and not the drugs I can prescribe. So, you know, we've got to protect our body. We only get one. You can't trade it in. And so if you want to be a classic someday, and we have people uh, who are older but have great health, uh, I feel you must be taking nutritional supplements. And I want to explain why. The medical literature has shown us now, because we can 
get into the cell, we understand disease process, that the root cause of more than over a hundred chronic degenerative diseases is due to oxidative stress or the this dark side of oxygen. And those are diseases like heart disease, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, macular degeneration, MS, lupus, stroke, Parkinson's disease. And, and it, the list goes on and on. But the key thing you have to understand is this is well established in the medical literature. There is no doubt about this. In fact, this slow progressive damage is we're rusting inside. So when I'm out lecturing uh, to, to uh, audiences, I try to explain this process in a very simple way. Now, just think about if you're sitting home and you've got a nice wood fire keeping you warm today, especially in the cold east to northeast. Think about this. That wood fire burns most of the time just fine, but occasionally there's a spark and out comes a cinder uh, or, or, you know, uh, on, and burns a little hole in your carpet. Well, that's really not a big deal. But month after month, year after year, you got a pretty ratty carpet in front of your fireplace. So what happens is, is the fact that you have to look as the fireplace, the wood fireplace, as your furnace of your cell, the mitochondria. The spark or that heart, hot cinder is the free radical and the carpet is your body. So what you find is the fact that whatever part of your body wears out first is, the, is most likely the disease you're gonna end up with. If it's your brain, you end up with Alzheimer's dementia or Parkinson's disease. If it's your eye, you might have macular degeneration or, car, or cataracts. If it's your arteries, you could have a heart attack or a stroke. If it's your joint space, you could have arthritis. And this is what we go. But we are not defenseless to this process. You see, antioxidants are like those glass doors or fine wire mesh we put in front of our fireplace. And so, yes, the sparks are still going to fly, but your carpet, your body is protected. It's all about balance. You just want to have enough antioxidants on board to handle the number of free radicals that you've produced. And that's the name. And so my goal now in nutritional medicine is to bring oxidative stress back under control, slow down this process, and, and build up the body's natural defense systems. So nutritional medicine, in a different vein over the last half century, has really been practiced by trying to figure out what you need a little more of or a little less of, or correcting a nutritional deficiency. And they may do muscle testing, iridology, hair samples, blood samples, uh, whatever, to try to figure out what you need a little more of or a little less of. That is what nutritional medicine has been and how it's been practiced for, for years. Well, the problem is, is the fact that it is not uh, a nutritional deficiency. The problem is oxidative stress. We now understand that in our medical literature. If you were to take all the medical advances from the beginning of time and put it into a 24-hour clock, all the medical advances, uh, we would realize that this process of understanding oxidative stress and all this knowledge has, has just come about in the last seven seconds. We now understand what the cause is. So it's not a nutritional efficiency. The problem is oxidative stress. And so this is how you approach this whole problem. So I want you to learn another concept uh, that we bring to the table at Rx, and that's cellular nutrition. You see, when physicians or scientists study nutritional supplements or nutritional uh, supplementation in any form, they always tend to look at just one nutrient at a time. Now, they might do a study on vitamin E or then they do one on magnesium, or then vitamin D, then they'll do one on selenium. But that's the way they test. That's what people do. What we find is this vitamin E is not a drug. Vitamin C is not a drug. These are nutrients we get from our food. But now that we can supplement, we can get them at levels you can't obtain from your food. So what I have learned is that when you read all these studies, the most amazing thing is that about 90 plus percent of the time, even studying just one nutrient, we see a health benefit if you get these optimal or advanced levels. 
But the problem is I want my patients to get all the health benefits. I don't want them just to get the health benefit of vitamin E or health benefit of vitamin C uh, or selenium. I want them to get everything. So what we need to be doing is providing all of these essential nutrients to the cell at their optimal or advanced levels. Now, those are the levels that have been shown to provide a health benefit in our medical literature. That's what I've researched. What level does it take uh, to, to get those health benefits? Well, then I had a deal with an issue uh, as a physician because I was taught in medical school that RDA level, uh, recommended dietary allowance, was the level that is all we needed. And so I had to go back and study that. And obviously RDAs, uh, if you eat a healthy diet, you can get those in your diet. And that's kind of what I told my patients. But then you look at how did RDAs develop? Well, how did they come into existence? Well, RDAs uh, were developed in the late 1930s, early 1940s during the wartime as that minimal amount required to avoid what we refer to as acute deficiency diseases like pellagra, scurvy, or rickets. But what you have to understand is they have absolutely nothing to do with chronic degenerative diseases. For example, the RDA of vitamin E is 30 international units. Well, when you study the medical literature, you don't even begin to see a health benefit till you get over 100 international units. And that health benefit seems to keep going up, 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 at least over 300, maybe 400 international units. Well, go out and eat 300 or 400 IUs of vitamin E. You only need to eat 33 heads of spinach or 27 pounds of butter or five pounds of wheat germ each and every day to get that amount. Take, take vitamin C. Vitamin C, the RDA is 60 milligrams. But again, in the medical literature, you don't see a health benefit till you get up over uh, 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C. Well, go out and eat that much. You know, you only need to get in 18 large oranges or 80 avocados and the list goes on and on. Well, as I study the medical literature, I realize, geez, RDAs have absolutely nothing to do with chronic degenerative diseases. Yet our government, that's the standard that they use. But you go to the medical literature and, and it's not the amount. We need these advanced optimal levels. And there's no way you and I are going to get that from our diet. Yes, you can use the argument that our food source has gone down, our minerals are depleted uh, in the soil. We've got all those arguments, but trust me, they don't even come close to the argument to understand that the medical literature is telling us beyond a shadow of a doubt that we need these optimal or advanced levels. So that is something that you have to understand for yourself personally and your family. But there's another thing that happens when you put them all together. It's called synergy. Now, Vitamin E, yes, it's a potent antioxidant, but it works within the cell membrane. Vitamin C is the most potent antioxidant within the plasma. And glutathione, another antioxidant, is the most potent intracellular antioxidant. And the, the, these all need uh, the so-called antioxidant minerals and B cofactors in their enzymatic reactions to do their job. So you can have all the glutathione in the world but if you don't have the selenium, it needs a molecule of selenium to work. So if you're depleted in selenium, it, you're not going to get the optimal response. The other thing is, as we understand that antioxidants, as I've shared, work in different areas of the body against different kinds of free radicals. It, you need an army of antioxidants. So you need everything you put it together. But here's something that is even more exciting. Vitamin C has the ability to regenerate that vitamin E. So it can be used over and over and over again. Alpha lipoic acid, another potent antioxidant, can regenerate vitamin E, but it also can regenerate the intracellular glutathione. The reason that I want to share is that one plus one is not two. It can be 20, 30, or 40. So when you're talking about balance, you want to have enough antioxidants on board to handle the number of free radicals you're producing. The best way to do this is take everything in the form of cellular nutrition. And then, uh, then that's what uh, gives us the best chance to bring oxidative stress back under control so we don't have any, so we can eliminate the problem. So what cellular nutrition does 
It's about health. It's not about disease. Because when you study the medical literature, yes, taking antioxidants optimize your antioxidant defense system. We have a natural internal defense system. But those same nutritional supplements optimize your body's natural immune system, our great protector. But what also people don't realize, it optimizes our natural repair system. And we also know that it improves insulin sensitivity, which is critical in weight loss and the slenderized products. But right now, I just want you to understand that taking nutritional supplements is not about disease, it's about health. And so when my uh, doctor friends come up to me and they say, well, doc, you know, Ray, why in the world do you recommend, uh, you know, nutritional supplements to your patients? Well, I'll say, well, have you ever recommended exercise to your patients? And they'll look at me and say, well, yeah. And I say, well, why do you do that? And they'll say, well, I, I think my patients who have a modest, consistent exercise program have a health benefit over my patients that don't. I say, well, what do you base that on? I say, well, I base that on the medical literature. And I say, well, then when you recommend exercise to your patients, are you treating a disease? And they'll say, well, no, no, I'm not. And I could say the same thing about eating a healthy diet. But see, that's where I believe in nutritional supplementation. I've studied the worldwide medical literature. I've looked now at the health benefits my patients can receive by supplementing their diet at these optimal or advanced levels. And I base that on the medical literature. So when I recommend that my patients per, you know, take cellular nutrition, along with obviously eating a healthy diet and a modest exercise program, uh, I know they have a health benefit over those who don't. And that's what we're talking about. It's, it's about protecting our health. And the absolute best way you can do this is by optimizing uh, the body's natural uh, defense systems. So just like anytime you switch into a new field, uh, the problem that I ran into years ago, and I've been doing this over 18, 19 years now, is the fact that it's not a, you know, nutritional medicine supplementation industry. It's not a regulated industry. The FDA does not do anything. They look at uh, supplements like they look at foods. So there's no standard. And as a physician, I was used to prescribing drugs. And so if I had a generic drug, uh, I mean, let's say a brand name drug, uh, they had to have it within 3%. If it was 100 milligrams on the tablet, they had to have it within 3% one side or the other to be a brand name. It had to be that quality. But if it's generic, we know they're cheaper, but the reason is they have to be 30% one side or the other. So it had to be between 70 milligrams and 130 to be considered a generic drug, not as good. But see, when you got into nutritional medicine and supplements, there was no standard. Most, most uh, nutritional companies that produce supplements follow no uh, standard of manufacturing practices. And it was very frustrating to me because my books that I wrote uh, were written generically. And the reason is, is that's what you have to do to, to share health concepts, because if you start uh, to recommend a specific product, what happens is they, they think you're trying to sell them something and, and they don't understand what you're trying to share with them. But what I've learned is many people would write me and say, well, Dr. Strand, I followed what you said and all that. I didn't get any health response. And I'm going, well, you got to, you know, once I had contact, you have to use quality products. So how do you choose high quality supplements? Well, Look, at that's all I've looked at. And there's only a handful of companies that even come close uh, to, to, to manufacturing their products in, in a fashion that I would recommend. First of all, I want, I want them to be manufactured in an FDA registered facility. Uh, this is very, very critical. This, uh, this is not something required again, but the company... Uh, calls in the FDA, they look at their facility, and yes, they, they meet the FDA standards of pharmaceutical grade quality manufacturing. See, there's, there's GMP, as I've got here, good manufacturing practices, but many companies, if they do have any standard, they're good manufacturing practice as a food quality, a food grade. 
Well, then they only have to have 25 to 30 percent in the tablet or capsule that they have on the label to carry that that kind of manufacturing practices. And even now you got to be careful because what I used to say for years, go to a go to a company that that produces pharmaceutical grade raw you know products. Well, that has been watered down by the FDA. So now they can claim, oh, we do pharmaceutical grade good manufacturing practices, but it's not near the quality. What you have to look for now to get the best manufacturing is have your nutritionals manufactured in a plant or manufacturing facility that also is certified to manufacture over-the-counter drugs, OTC. And that assures you then that you have the highest quality products in the world today. And that's what we have at RX. We have, it's FDA registered, good manufacturing practices. They, the, the facility is licensed to manufacture over-the-counter drugs. So this allows RX to give that seal of approval, the approval 100% potency guarantee. So it is like a brand name drug. It has 100% of what's in the label in the tablet or capsule. But not only that, you want them to follow USP pharmacopeia, US pharmacopeia, so that that capsule or tablet dissolves. And I was so excited with RX when I realized they manufactured theirs in capsules. And why do I say that? Well, first of all, the capsules are, are much more expensive to develop. Most companies don't use capsules because it, it costs so much more. They, they do tablets that are compressed and they have to have binders to hold it together. And, and it takes a lot of heat to compress it. You, you decrease uh, you know, the quality and, and the amount of, of the nutrients you have by that compression. So with capsules, you put it in. And the nice thing is when the capsule dissolves, it goes right. It's available for absorption right then, where a tablet has to be dissolved slowly over time. I was in the lab uh, at our access manufacturing plant. And when they did the testing, those capsules were dissolved within 90 seconds. Just amazing. And so we have pharmaceutical grade raw products, pure. They manufacture them in a pharmaceutical grade manner, their OTC. But not only that, you don't have to rely on RX or that. They turn their products over to third parties, Consumer Lab and NSF to document and to test their products so that you and I know what they're saying is true. Now, very few companies do that, but that was a very big standard for me. And that's what attracted me to RX in the very, very beginning. But also uh, you look at the Nutrify band. Now the Optimal V and Optimal M actually, actually provide the cellular nutrition that I recommend to all my patients. Not only high quality, but you have to look at the balance and completeness of the product. So they have all these antioxidants supporting B cofactors and vitamins and minerals all provided together. So I don't have to worry, am my patients getting this? Or are they getting that? Just take your, you know, the optimals uh, each and every day, uh, three optimal V morning and night and two optimal M's morning and night with food because you absorb them better and tolerate them better. That's the cellular nutrition I'm talking about. That's all we're talking about. Then you create the synergistic effect. But here's the thing you have to understand. Nutritional medicine is different than allopathic medicine. And the fact that, you know, if you come in with a strep throat, I, I write penicillin or amoxicillin, I'm going to expect you to be better in a day and a half, two days. Well, nutritional medicine is different. You're building up the body's natural defenses. The medical literature shows it takes a minimum of six months to build up your immune system, your antioxidant defense system. And the older we are, it even takes longer than that. So you can't just take these for a month. So oh, I didn't feel any better. I'm just going to do it. No, it's a lifestyle. You, you got to take this each and every day of your life. So that's what I, I do. But every product that we have, uh, just, just for example, in the Optimals, we have grapeseed extract, as I'll share, and it's in the Vinali as a standalone, but grapeseed extract is 50 times more potent than vitamin C and 50 times more potent than vitamin E as an antioxidant, but it has some other characteristics. It's a natural anti-inflammatory. It readily crosses a blood-brain barrier, gets into the fluid around the brain, 
and the nerves so that that it, it it's in a very key area you, as far as eye health, brain health, all of that. But it, it also is a natural anti-allergen. I have my my kids come in, my patients are they're allergic to allergies. They got asthma, hay fever, and, and they're on inhalers or he, inhaled steroids. Every one of my patients gets a response uh, from this, but it's in your optimals. We also have whole foods in our optimals. You know, we got a vegetable and fruit extracts that we put in. And the reason is, is because there are other nutrients in your food you can't totally identify, but we know they're healthy. So these are natural food extracts and there's very, very potent antioxidants like alpha lipoic. So then you look at BioPro-Q. BioPro-Q is a tremendous uh, CoQ10 product. I use CoQ10 a lot in my practice. And the reason is, is it, it, it is very critical for cellular energy. And, but CoQ10 is very hard to absorb. And in my medical practice, I do a lot of blood testing for CoQ10 levels in my patients with heart failure, with cancer, with a neurodegenerative disease. And I could not get blood levels up high enough with a previous uh, oxidized form called ubiquinone. So when RX and I, we started to develop BioPro-Q, they, they want to know what was the best. Well, it's ubiquinol, the natural uh, active form. And it's absorbed five to 10 times greater than this ubiquinone form. Plus the ubiquinone form must be, uh, you know, must be converted to the active ubiquinol form in the body. So that's, that's the attraction to RX. They always get the highest quality, go to the, the best manufacturing. And, you know, I can go over each of these, but time is limited. But I wanted you to know that each one of these products is unique. It's, it's unbelievable. We spent 18 months developing MagnaCal-D. Restorix is a detox center in a bottle. Uh, Omega-Q gives you that high quality fish oil that is, you know, that, that is cleansed or, or purified by a natural process, not, not by petroleum products like most companies have to because they use the smallest uh, fish, the anchovy sardine source of omega-3. And you know, in the food chain, the higher it goes up, uh, the more contaminated it gets with heavy metals, which is a big problem in our fish today. So that's the Nutrify band, but this meets the standards, but also I get to see the results in my patients. And that, that is what's key. So let me just kind of review here. What is my approach to nutritional medicine? What am I recommending to my patients? Well, you know, I start out, I recommend, yes, you need to learn to eat a healthy diet. And I explain that. Uh, that's in my book, Health, you know, Healthy for Life. They also need, uh, need to be exercising. You know, the one thing the body cannot handle is inactivity. You need to have your body moving. Uh, it is just part of a healthy lifestyle. But I also now recommend that all of my patients at least take cellular nutrition. So at the basis is the RX Optimals, provide the cellular nutrition that I recommend to all my patients. If you look in my books, I have two pages of nutrients I broke down because I look at the, you know, the medical literature, what are the optimal levels? I reviewed the RX Optimals and, and we've, all the levels there are these optimal advanced levels, but they're very, very safe levels. There's no dangerous levels in the RX Optimals. You're not going to overdose or do anything like that. I, I actually wrote a book, Death by Prescription. And it's always amazing to me that adverse drug reactions uh, are the third leading cause of death in this country and U.S. and Canada. And I, I very well explain that. And there's only been a handful of deaths, no matter what, with nutritional supplements. Most of those are trying to use things like niacin at pharmaceutical levels uh, that have caused most of those deaths. These are safe they're healthy, they're safe. So it's not a problem. And so what I recommend is that everybody take the RX Optimals as a minimum. Now, if you want to add certain things because of your age, your concern with your family, MOA is a wonderful addition because it has, it's loaded with antioxidants, over 30 of these superfoods and superfoods that have all these antioxidants. And if you add it to the optimals, you're getting the minerals and all those others because it's all about balance. You wanna have enough antioxidants on board, but you need the supporting nutrients. So I like to add it 
to the optimals. Other people want to also add MagnaCal-D. They might be getting over 40. They might be worried about osteoporosis. Uh, vitamin D levels we know is essential in health. And trust me, uh, you're getting 2,000 international units of vitamin D3, the most potent vitamin D in the optimals. But if you add MagnaCal-D, you're getting an additional 2,000 of vitamin D3. Excellent and very, very safe levels and range. And other people want fish oil. They're not eating enough fish. They want a more omega-3, which is our natural anti-inflammatory. They want to get some CoQ10, so they'll take omega-Q. So that, that is what I call my basis, and, and everybody varies, but the minimum is the optimals. Now, if I have, I, I consult and see a lot of patients who are already ill. They already have a chronic degenerative disease. Uh, they might be suffering from rheumatoid arthritis or MS, or they have cancer, heart disease, diabetes. Well, the medical literature shows me those people have much more oxidative stress or free radical production than someone who feels healthy. So when they come in, if I'm going to bring this oxidative stress back into balance, I need to go ahead and add what I call enhancers. And the two favorite enhancers are Vinali and BioProQ. And they are potent, but I add them to the cellular nutrition. That, that's what I do to bring oxidative stress back under control. And that's, what I, that's all I've done. Very simple. But, but it's been my my process. And, and that's what I do. So just to end, everybody always asks me, oh, I wish I could talk to Dr. Strand about this or that, or what does he recommend for this or that? Well, go to my website, raystrand.com. Uh, if you want to, I list uh, specific generic recommendations for over a hundred different diseases. Now, this is not in any textbook. This is just my clinical experience. Now they are listed generically because this is an educational site. It is not there to, to promote uh, Rx or anything. In fact, if I were to specifically mention an Rx product with a disease, then the FDA looks at that as I'm making a disease claim. Well, that gets Rx into trouble, anything, and we don't want that. This is strictly generic. So I'll list it as a multiple uh, antioxidant or a a mineral tablet or grapeseed extract or CoQ10. And if you would like to know, if you'd like to know the equivalence to my generic recommendations on that website, just email me or my, or my web uh, manager uh, at info at raystrand.com. So if you're a member and you want to know that, uh, fine. But you can share any of these recommendations as a personal consult uh, with any family, friends, or acquaintances. It's just a system I've developed. But I, what I'd like you to do also is go on raystrand.com for no re other reason than to get my new ebook. It's free. Uh, but I kind of just, it's something you can share. It's on a PDF file. It's five essential concepts for optimal health. Just download it on your computer. Share it with whoever you want. Uh, this is something I'm giving the Rx family. And, and it's written generically, but it gives these principles I've talked to you today about. And you say, oh, I wish someone would have heard this or understand the importance of taking supplements. It's not, it's not to feel good. This, this is true. By doing this, you're going to decrease your risk of these chronic degenerative diseases. Now, you're not going to eliminate it. We're all going to die sometime. We're all going to lose our health some way. Uh, and, and so it's not magic, but the quality of life is there. And I know it gives my patients the absolute best chance to protect their health or possibly regain it if they've lost it. So that's what you want to lo look at. And so this is the uh, ebook. Uh, just just go, go there and download it today. Put it on your computer, share it with whoever you'd like.